Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be covering this controller template. This is a template that I've used for a long time and you can see how I've used them in these two controllers here. I've actually made this one on stream so you might have actually seen this controller before. And yeah, so you might see me use this template a lot on stream as well because I do use it whenever I'm making Xbox controllers and they're always fun to make. So yeah, this controller template is made by Phase JPEG so just check out, um, check them out. This link to the tweet will be in the description. So yeah, you can follow that link, you can download it, and yeah, you can just follow the tutorial by by making your own controller. Okay, so each part of this controller has something that you can do to edit it. And um, I'm going to be showing you how you can put your own design on it, and how to make, yeah, basically your own controller. And yeah, so let's get into it. First off, we only, well, what you want to notice is that the space color is, can be changed, you can change it to any color you want, you can make it um, a red, you can make it blue, it really doesn't matter, um, let's just go for the green for now, it, it, you can change it to any color you like, you, know, you can even have a gradient if you like. Okay, now every, every all your design, all you, everything you do should be in this put designs folder, so what you want to do is click on it so it's highlighted and then make a new layer so it goes directly into the folder already so now everything that you design inside this controller is going to be just in the controller and even if it does go outside the controller it's still gonna stay inside it'll still be on the controller and it won't go outside the controller and that's because of the clipping mask that's been added to the controller okay now that we've got this we can um, we can do a load we can do different stuff we can you can, let's just see. Make sure we have a layer that's inside the layer, I mean inside the folder, and then press right click and press fill, and there we go. Now we've got this kind of like this line coming down inside the controller, and we can lower the opacity. So now we have this, it's, it, I wouldn't really call it a gradient, but it's a nice just effect on the controller. And we can flip it just so we can put it on the other side as well. And there we go. So now we've got this nice, um, this nice effect that we have on both sides of the controller. And now we can add brushes and stuff. So let me just use this brush. Well, any brush that we might have. You can use stocks from graphics packs. You can use pretty much anything on these controllers, and it, it'll look, it should be all fine. Uh, let me just find something that looks decent. Oh, should we go for this one? Yeah. Okay. That looks nice. So right now we're just gonna go across and just put this pane on here twice and then rotate this one. Okay. And then we're gonna make it the same um, look the same as our our other effect that we have going on just so it kind of blends in and looks really nice. So as you can see it just kind of smoothly goes into it. And we're gonna do the same to the other side. It and then just cutting it off. Okay, there we go. Of course, you guys don't have to do the exact same design as me. You can make up what you what you have by yourself, and yeah, you can use your own creativity here. And uh, of course, you can use different textures. Oh, okay, different textures and stuff like I have on this on this Razer controller. This this controller is all pretty much all done by pen tool. So yeah, basically all what I've done here, but without the brushes. Okay, now that we know it's part designs and all that, we can now change the color of the buttons. You don't really want to change those. Um, we can change these buttons, we can have colored buttons, we can have blank buttons. Let me just show you guys what I mean. So just, just by showing this layer right here, it, the, the, the buttons will become blank. And as some controllers look nice like that, uh, it gives a nice clean effect. So you can change the you can change these buttons, the, the color of the buttons, by opening the face buttons, um, showing this layer. So it must be this layer, and then going to double clicking on it, and go to color overlay, set this to overlay, and now we can change the color to any color we like. So as you can see, we can have nice green buttons to match the controller design, as well with um, with uh, the color scheme that we got going. Okay. So now we've got the, we change the color of these buttons, we can also change the color of the D-pad. But just by doing the same thing, 
what you need to do is double click on the d-pad layer go to color overlay and then go to green and yeah now we've changed this color as well so yeah guys that's pretty much all you need to know for this tutorial it's nice quick and easy especially by um jpex really made this template really easy to edit and really it's actually really fun to make controllers i i think it's one of the most, the, the more funner designs that you can do so yeah guys thank you for checking out this tutorial if you if you find it helpful leave a like and i'll catch you guys later